welcome back to the channel welcome back to another lspdf tutorial we're gonna go ahead and do a quick install here of this ultra working seatbelt mount 1.1.0 uh we're just gonna go ahead and find out together how this mod works and everything like that so it's gonna be pretty much new to me as well and uh, i think it just got updated as well as you can see over here um as i've been reading around here we don't really need that many requirements for this mod to work and possibly the most important information right here it says let use left control key to fasten and unfasten the seat belt and we're just going to go ahead and read the i and i file as well and see what the hell is in there all right so i'm going to go ahead and leave the link in the description for this mod right here if you want to go ahead and have the pleasure of installing it in your game all right so let me go ahead and minimize this as you can see i do have the mod right here already downloaded i think the very thing that we're going to need here is our gta 5 main directory and i have been showing a lot how you can get your gta 5 main directory especially if you're using steam like i am all right so you should be able to find out how you can get to that anyways let me go ahead and open up this file right here go ahead and unzip the file here real quick close that and uh see what the hell is in here so before i install most of the mods i like to go ahead and take a look at what's going on in the mod all right uh what the hell is in here i guess these are the sounds that you can hear while you're in game and everything like that whether you do have your seatbelt on or off or something like that i don't know and of course you do have the i and i file over here you know what let's just go ahead and drag and drop this as you can see here i'm on my main uh gta 5 directory over here and i'm just gonna go ahead and drag and drop this in here and this just gonna go ahead and go into our plugins folder right here so, so let's go ahead and open up the plugins folder let me go ahead and close this here real quick all right so as you can see we do have the seatbelt audio over here and we do have the other two files of the seat belt over here so most important thing that we need to go ahead and look at here is that the configuration file and see if you can change anything uh as you can see here the very most important thing is right at the top of it like i said you're gonna use your left control key i think you can actually change the key binding over here you can change it to whatever you want but for me i'm just gonna go ahead and leave it uh right here on the left control key i think it's gonna be easy for me to uh control this especially when i'm doing my lspdfr videos and stuff like that i i can access this uh key right here very very easy indeed anyways uh it says uh to lose control it, all right so i guess here you can actually lose control if you're attempting to put a seat belt on uh especially if you're driving fast or something like that as, as you can see here it says at maximum speed so we're gonna go ahead and leave this one as true just to add a little bit more realism into the game and then over here uh maximum speed when you can fasten or unfasten the seat belt so this is the maximum speed that's gonna this uh mod is gonna allow you to go if you are speeding uh this is how fast you can go for you to be able to fasten on or unfasten the seat belt and um so if you go over the speed right here you'll be unable to fasten or unfasten the seat belt that's as much as i can read into this right here all right and then uh if you reach this speed um the shimming starts i guess if you reach this speed right here let's just say you do not have your seat belt on you're gonna start to hear the sound going off letting you know that your seat belt is off or something like that i guess that's as much as i can read into that as for the sound itself is gonna be this one i don't know how you can change the sound i'm pretty sure there's a way you can change the sound and then um a notification with uh when you fasten or unfasten the seat belt i'm just gonna go ahead and change mine to true because i would love to know um whether my seat belt is on or off uh you can pretty much forget some of these things right here so let me go ahead and change mine to true um a help message will appear when you attempt to exit the, uh to exit with the seat belt fastened all right so i guess this one if you uh if you let's just say you pulled over and you're trying to get off the vehicle or something like that if the seat belt is on 
you will not be able to get out of the vehicle so it's going to go ahead and let you know whether the seat belt is on or off um should i leave this one is true i don't know um i'm just going to have uh will appear if i attempt to us uh, to fasten it so this one it is gonna go ahead and give you the notification let's say like you're speeding over 60 miles per hour right here if you go ahead and go over 60 miles per hour let's just say you're trying to you are trying to unfasten or fasten the seat belt it's gonna go ahead and give you the notification letting you know that you probably might be like driving too fast or something like that i'm pretty sure we're just gonna go ahead and test this out once we are in the game um i feel like i need to change this to false so that it can give me a little bit more uh realism into the game or something you know what let's just go ahead and um i think i made one change over here um i think i let I, I changed this one to true so let's just go ahead and go into the game with these settings right here and see what's the difference all right so let's go ahead and save this and uh exit out of this right here and then let's go ahead and exit out of this one so now we're just gonna go ahead and try to jump into the game but before we get, can jump into the game we're just gonna need to access our reg plugin hook uh folder just go ahead and click the um the gear icon right there and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and need this page here before you can run into the game and once you get to this page right here just go ahead and go to plugins and make sure this is selected right here so that you can uh uh this mod right here is gonna go ahead and uh load into the game so you don't really have to worry about this some other time so this will be like a one-time install right here as you can see all of these mods right here are just they're just gonna go ahead and start up when the ma uh, when the game starts so let's go ahead and save and launch and then i'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in the game and we're just gonna go ahead and uh check this out here real quick Alrighty, guys now that we are in the game let's go ahead and check out this seatbelt mount here real quick and see what the hell is going on with this and uh we're just gonna go ahead and use this beamer right here this m5 uh as you can see it is a police vehicle so we're just gonna go ahead and test this out here with this mod straight away i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, press my left control key as you can see on top of my mini map it does say seat belt fastened and then i'm gonna go ahead and unfasten the seat belt all right so there you go it's gonna go ahead and say seat belt unfastened right there so i'll be able to get out of the vehicle just like so all right so let's go ahead and get inside and, and see if this one works uh, let's go ahead and fasten the seat belt again so now i'm gonna go ahead and try to get out of the vehicle as you can see you do get the uh, the notification say your seat belt is fastened right at the very top of our left hand corner right here all right so let me go ahead and uh unfasten the seat belt here real quick and we're just gonna go ahead and test this out here in terms of the sound all right so there you go uh once you hit that uh, 30 miles per hour you can go ahead and hear that sound right here letting you know that uh, the seat belt is unfastened all right so let's go ahead and try to speed and uh see if we can uh, go ahead and get that same effect or not we're gonna try and go over 70 miles per hour here real quick and uh see if uh, we can fasten or unfasten the seat belt all right so right now the seat belt is unfastened so we're gonna try and go all the way over 60 miles per hour let me go ahead and see if i can get it straight away over here all right and then we're just gonna go ahead and put the foot down here real quick and uh see if this works i'm looking for a straightaway to try and get this in here real quick all right so there you go i think i'm as you can see <laughs> it does let you know that you're going way too fast so we'll be unable to fasten the seat belt once once we're in speed as you can see if i do press my left control key the vehicle is gonna act out a little bit there you go so you will be able to uh there's a possibility that you might crash if you don't have the seat belt on and then you try to speed and then try to put it on all right let's go ahead and try this again as you can see you do have that little bit of a jerk on the vehicle right there 
all right i think that's pretty much it for this mod right here guys um i don't know what else that i can show with this mod it's a pretty simple mod but i think it just it, it does add a little bit of flavor into it uh let's go ahead and go slow down it here a little bit and see if we can all right so there you go you can actually try to uh fasten the seat belt while uh while you slow down a little bit i think if you go between 0 and 30 miles per hour right there you should be able to uh fasten your seat belt okay they <laughs> tried to jerk me around again uh but this time i wasn't speeding all right let's go ahead and put it put it down here real quick and see how this is in first person all right i'm pretty sure we are going way over 60 as you can see <laughs> <laughs> so if you're not prepared you could find yourself crashing and everything like that all right but anyways guys this will really conclude the um the tutorial of this video right here so if you find it very interesting uh make sure you like the video man subscribe to the channel there's gonna be a lot more tutorials coming your way so without any further ado man i have been your boy dilly and i'll catch you guys next time man Hurts.